guys doing today sorry you're crooked <laughs> it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is my very last video that I'm going to create for this blue and white cottage decor series oh my goodness except for the home tour but this will be the last decorate with me I know we've had many like 20 I think this might have been my 23rd, 22nd or 23rd, something like that. Decorate with me. Oh my goodness. So I am super happy to be getting to this point because that means my house will be finished and I'll be able to enjoy it with this, with this decor for quite a while here, for quite a while. I'm so excited also to bring this this whole vignette to you you know because this I'm sitting in my bay window in my living room you guys and we had that big ficus tree you know here in this in this bay window f since we moved in and we've had that ficus tree for 30 years not even kidding and it was really 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 heavy and cumbersome for Chris to get out of here this year we moved it out to put the white Christmas tree here and I said to him, and I've been asking him for a couple of years, I said, what do you feel, how do you feel about me putting a table in the bay window? Oh, well, I don't want to block the window, and we have the ficus, and it, you know, it wouldn't look right. And so we've decided not to bring the ficus tree back up here. Just because it's old, it is heavy, it is cumbersome, and frankly, I wanted to decorate something in this bay window. I didn't want it to take up a whole lot of room. I don't want it to be a bunch of furniture. I wanted a table to sit in here to decorate up prettily. So we went out looking for a table and we didn't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, well, we went to Hobby Lobby, we went to Home Goods, we went to, we didn't go into at home, we went to Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. And I just didn't find anything I was looking for. I, I just didn't find anything that I wanted. I couldn't decide whether I wanted it stained or whether I wanted it like, um, cream or whether I wanted it like weathered and we decided no we don't want it weathered because none of the furniture in here in this in these rooms is pretty formal although it's comfortable you know but old and you know uh, brown and furniture that I've had for years and years and frankly a cream color table would stick out like a sore thumb in here we thought so we had an old oak table we had a, we have an oak um, I don't know whether they're still open actually here in town an oak where you could go get beautiful oak furniture we got our old like kitchen and chairs there and a hutch there it's beautiful 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 real oak furniture and we had the one table that Chris painted cream that went up in the purple bedroom and we had another one that was a half moon shaped and Chris said, well, why don't I just stain that for you? And I was like, well, do you mind doing that? I know that you painted that, but do you mind? He normally would never want to paint wood or do anything like that. He says, no. He says, I think that that would be a, the perfect table for there. I said, I agree. I think it would be a beautiful contrast off of the white molding in here. It would pair beautifully with the perfect grayish wall. And so he got himself some polyurethane stain and went to town you guys now this table is very very old i'm talking decades old and it has been through the ringer <laughs> and moved from place to place hither and yon it really has and excuse the the brightness let me see if i can i don't know that i can help that i'm sorry i should have done this at night or something but anyway so this is the table that he he actually stained it with poly urethane uh, stain with polyurethane in it and he did a beautiful job it took two big fat thick coats and boy howdy it took a while to dry it took about uh, two full days to dry and it's been sitting up here for days and I have been really 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 anxious to get going and get decorating on this thing so 
Uh, as you can see, I don't have any doilies that will fit this table because it is a half moon table and all of my doilies are are square. So I'm going to do this whole vignette without doilies or with place out place mats or anything like that. I could fold them to fit, but frankly, I kind of like it without. So I'm going to go ahead and do it without. Now, these are the lamps that I got for Christmas. Uh, Chris got me these lamps for Christmas and we have LED lights and they do come on every evening and shine out of this window uh, with the E-Tech City remote that I use. We made it so he plugged, you can see down here, this is one of the um, E-Tech City uh, little houses that, you know, you just click the one remote and you can have up to five things plugged in and five things will will turn on. You'll have to do some research on that. It's always linked in the description of my uh, video, of all of my videos. I now have it in there all the time. So I've already kind of done the top. And this is how I want to set it, set it up, I think, just with the two lamps, a picture of Chris and myself, just that little angel girl in the back. I got this cute little teapot at the, the shop two times new. I paid three $3.99 for this. Uh, it's not from anybody special, but I thought it was pretty with the basket and the ribbon and everything. So I wanted to set it right there. I got this little bird that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, $11.99, but paid 50% off whenever I got that I've had him. So now let's come down here to this bottom shelf and that's where I'm gonna decorate with you guys here. Remember I had said about Liz over there and how when she did a table, I can't remember where, what table she did. I'm so sorry about this light. Goodness gracious. It is just shining brightly in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. Uh, and that she put up like a fan uh, thing to hide her wires, you know? So with that in mind, I thought, well, I'm going to do something like that. And I had a gift card uh, that Kristen had gotten me for Christmas at home, for at Home Goods, and I went out and got myself this kind of a mirrored tray. Isn't that pretty? And look at the flower on it. If you remember the flower that I have, one of them sitting over in the in the foyer, and I'm going to do the other one in here. I had two of those, so I did get this from Home Goods. And it was $40, so I used my gift card for this. So hang on, my Christmas, so this is one of my Christmas presents. Take the tags off. And I am going to very carefully sit this right there. And it will hide pretty much my cords. You won't be able to see. I can still see them there hanging, but you won't be able to see it from back. Now let me make sure I have that centered because I am not sitting right in the center of my table here. Okay, let's Here we go. Okay, now, y'all remember I got this from Ross, I don't even know when, a while back. So I want this to go up here on this side, I think. And I'm just gonna start playing with this stuff, y'all. And then I bought two candle sticks. This was like $3.99, or $8.99, $8.99 half off. And this one was $10.99 half off. And then I have a, uh, a family picture here that I, they're very camera shy, that is going to sit right like this, I think, only pointed out toward the front. So I'm gonna set it right like that. I might move this over some. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, or if this will end up going up here, to be honest. But I do have one more thing to go on this side. Let me turn around here and get it. I found this in at that two times new shop that we have that's uh, here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, going down toward downtown Fredericksburg. 
I love this. This was $8 from there. And I'm going to set that over on that side over there. But I want to put a little bit of an arrangement in it. First, I hope I'm going to be able to manage not to put something over the top in this. But I have like one of these magnolias left. So I thought just simply a magnolia. Cut this. This thing, it might take me a second here. some blueberries. I really, I don't want much help if you could see what I was doing. Oh. Sorry. I really don't want much more than that in it, to be honest. I just want it to be kind of simple. Truly. Yep, I do have some ivy. This is my last tuff of ivy I have left. <laughs> That's pretty. That's it. That's all I want to do to it. And let me move it up here. Now I have to get up and take a look at this and see if I need to tweak. I would like these over here and the picture turned this way on the bottom shelf. But you know, it'll be turned like that, only forward. <laughs> My camera shy family, sorry about that. But there we go. I think that, I'll have to get back from it, but I think that's gonna be super pretty like that. And that's it, y'all. I think that this drawer is, does work. This drawer is a workable drawer. I said this thing is ancient and old, but boy, did it work out to be a very, very, very pretty addition to this room. You can see in the windows there, I put two, I have a set of four of these that I was also given for Christmas, these canvas bluebird and blue floral pictures with a little bit of gray in them. Put one in that window and then one on the other side over here in this window and the other two I have on the wall hanging up on the wall so but that's it y'all I think this is going to be super pretty and I love it I absolutely love it all right let's go into some final 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 words huh for this series oh my goodness I can't believe it I can't believe we're done with this what an accomplishment though, you know? Alrighty, you guys, there we go. I think you can almost see the whole thing there. I'm super happy to, to be finished this decor series. I have had a blast doing it. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me with each little vignette. We went around this house methodically and really, really, we created some beautiful spaces that Chris and I can enjoy and my family who comes to visit can enjoy. And, you know, I'm not sure that I'm going to be having time to do an Easter series or anything like that. Uh, I might like to host a, a party or, or get together, you know, to celebrate uh, Little Maverick and, you know, something like that. I'm not sure what's coming in the future, you guys, but this decor will carry me through whatever it is will carry me through our busyness of life. Uh, it will be, this is an everyday decor that, that is soft and pretty and subtle and cohesive all the way through this main level. Yeah, in here the greens might be a little lighter, it might be a little, little airier in, in the living room, in the foyer, in the dining room. 
and it, they might be a little bolder the greens in the in the family room but it's all pairs together beautifully and you do not know how long I have wanted to create something like that to have a cohesive color scheme all the way through this main level of this house this it, it is an accomplishment for me and it took me years and years and years to accomplish you guys and years and years and years to wrap my brain around how I'm going to do it and to make it just subtly different in each space using the same color scheme but different accent pieces different ribbons different florals different uh, you know candlesticks and you know pictures and whatnots you know it's been quite the task honestly to do it but it's been a labor of love it's been an absolute labor of love I've really enjoyed it Again, this is my passion. So I am very, very satisfied with how everything has worked out. I'm not unhappy with anything that, that we've done here. I'm super happy with it from, from the front door all the way through, which speaking of which, that will be coming up. My uh, home tour will be next in the queue. And I promise you, I will take you probably just through this main level. I'm not sure if I'll take you through the bedrooms or not upstairs. Y'all just saw those. Uh, so I may go up there and, and just take a peek in them, you know, just to, you know, just to say, oh, here's the happy room. Here's the turquoise room. Here's the, here's the purple bedroom, you know. So, uh, and here it is how it looks, you know, looking down over the, over the rail. And I may do that, you know, so, uh, but other than that, then we'll be completely finished with the series. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's next. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I'm never done decorating, though. I'm never done crafting. I'm never done talking with you guys. So, whatever I'm doing in my life, I will be bringing to you next. That's for sure. So anyway, let me thank you guys so much, so, so much for stopping by here every single time. Every single time. I so appreciate you coming by here and visiting with me as I bumble through my decor here. And thank you for being patient with my blunders. And some of my videos were not as sleek and as, as wonderful as I wanted them to be. But, you know, my hair didn't look the best every time. I, but my clothes didn't look the best every time, but I tried my best. <laughs> Uh, but I tried to pull us through this, you know, with some semblance of order and organization and cohesiveness. <laughs> so thank you for all of your comments throughout. Uh, I appreciate every single one of them. I love each and every one of you for taking the time to watch, then for taking the time to comment. And for those of you who have taken the time to subscribe, thank you so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Come along with me on my journey through my year. I don't know what's coming. I know I'm having a grandbaby coming in June. <laughs> Chris and I are. Our youngest daughter, Candace, is, is expecting a little boy, Maverick James, in June. And we're really looking forward to that. So come along with us on, the, on our journey into grandparenthood. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I read all of your comments, by the way, every single one of them. When you see my heart show up, please know that I've read your comment and that I've nestled it right, it nestles right down in my heart and snuggles in and stays there and I cherish it and appreciate it. Always, always, always. So for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.